I never thought there would be a game that could instantly teleport me back to my childhood. Well, not my childhood because I didn't really play any classic collectathon games and I didn't get Pikmin until I was a bearded old man trying to find out why everyone liked that weird plant game. Yet here we are with a game that combines these two favorites from more than 20 years ago into a whole new adventure that fills me with so much childlike grandeur that I think I grew some cartilage back in my knees. It's time to check out Tinykin. Dive into the role of Milodane, a bowl-cut little human dude from another planet far in the future who has found the long-lost source of humanity and goes all in on checking it out. In the process, you end up in a world of either a big-ass house or as a little-ass person, but either way your teleportation equipment is broken and you're stuck there. Luckily, a bug creature named Ridme finds you and guides you into this new world where you'll soon discover these strange little puffballs called Tinykin that are really into you and will follow you wherever you go. These little creatures aren't all the same though, they come in a cute variety that will help you navigate this mis-sized world of talking bugs. Whether they're carrying things around for you, sacrificing their bodies in horrific kamikaze explosions, stacking up and letting you walk all over their faces, or plugging themselves into outlets to be your personal jumper cable, these masochistic little blobs are ready to lay it all on the line at your every whim. And you'll need them all to collect the random household items necessary to rebuild this transportation device that will allow you to escape from this gigantic or normal sized world you shrank into. Each part is located in a seemingly ordinary room of the house that has been transformed into an insect sanctuary filled with adventures for you to explore and hidden trinkets to obtain. Rooms like bedrooms now house massive temples and the bathroom has been split between the timid toilet paper hoarding dung beetles and the flashy party first and ask questions about partying later silverfish, both of whom you must please in effort to get back the mighty scissors which are integral to your space travels. These diminutive creatures have even converted the kitchen into verdant farmland complete with sponge-based soil with only the ingenuity of hard-working proletariat ants. While you'll always have the relatively straightforward quests necessary to get these junk drawer items to rebuild the spacecraft, there are also plenty of random side missions to help out other creepy critters of the house. It might be as simple as just finding someone's ring pop and bringing it back to them, but in some cases you might need to track down a whole collection of garbage to satisfy those bug demands. Even though it doesn't take long to get used to this strange situation of Tony hawking your way around on a bar of soap or picking up randomly scattered pollen for an ant to make insect liquor, it's still pretty hard to miss that there's something mysterious going on in this strange tiny universe. Tinykin. It may not be Pikmin, but neither is Pikmin anymore, so that's okay. To say that I enjoyed this game hardly seems to do it justice. I played the demo twice and couldn't wait to explore more of this world. I spent hours knocking out every side quest and tracking down almost every fleck of pollen in the game because half the fun is finding all the secrets and unlocking each area. There's not really a failure state and while you can die from ending up in the water or falling too far without using your floating bubble power, it's really all about the puzzles. Seeing the result of moving blocks, destroying barriers, flipping switches, and connecting power to unlock routes and get to items creates little magical moments in every level. So because this was one of the most enjoyable games I've played all year, I'm giving Tinykin the abbreviated score of good. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to subscribe and check out my other abbreviated reviews.